So last night I saw The Bourne Legacy, and personally, I thought it was pretty good. Even though Rotten Tomatoes gave it a 56%, I'm telling you right now that it's a lot better. The story follows an agent named Aaron Cross. Now, Aaron Cross is in this, like, super spy program for the government, and when the super spy program is getting a bit too public for people, they decide to wipe everyone out, just kill everyone in the program. Then they start killing all the people in their program, except for one person, Aaron Cross, played by Jeremy Renner, who I thought actually did a good job at the role. Surprisingly enough, I thought that Jeremy Renner was the only real good performance in this movie. Edward Norton I didn't really care about, and same with Rachel Weisz, it just, I don't know, it didn't do it for me. Now the best part of this movie would have to be the action. The action is fantastic. The only problem of it is that there isn't enough of it. Most movies nowadays, I feel, have a little dead spot. You know that one spot in the movie where you're just like, oh my god, this is so boring, nothing makes sense. I still don't get what they were talking about, about like the blue pills and the green pills and the yellow pill. I, don't, I just don't. Then you have a bunch of really cool detective things where the government is chasing Aaron Cross with a whole bunch of satellites and things. And then you have one of the best action scenes I've seen in a movie in a long time. The motorcycle scene in the Philippines. This was the coolest scene in the entire movie. When Jeremy Renner is going through the town and he's trying to avoid one of the other agents who's trying to kill him, it is some of the best action scenes you will watch in any movie. So putting all that blue, green pill, blue pill, yellow pill crap all aside, I would give The Bourne Legacy a solid 4 out of 5. The only problem I had with the movie is that I thought that it could have been cast a little bit better, and that there were a bit more of that great action and less of that confusing, weird, political, government dialogue. But if you're looking for a really good spy film, check out The Bourne Legacy. You might hate it, you might like it, you never know. Check it out.